Hey everybody, Owen here from the Lardcore team and welcome to a new year for Hogs of War. I hope you all received a well-deserved rest over in the Reserve Trench during the seasonal break, but now as 2024 is upon us, it's time once again to take a closer look at some of the main points of our development for January and answer some of the community's burning questions. So let me be the first to welcome you back to Road, also known as Mission 2's Routine Patrol in single player. You will of course notice that our Hogs programmers have been very hard at work getting our first passes of the set dressing in. That's right, it's finally time for these maps to have a bit more life injected into them. There are a multitude of assets within Hogs of War Lardcore, the largest quantity of which consists of foliage, ranging from different types of trees, bushes, hedgerows, mushrooms, tulips, all these little details that our lead artist has recently been expanding on. Not only will the regular sunny, snowy, trench and desert themed maps be getting their own unique set of assets, but all the others too, including the creepy and health themed maps like Graveyard Shift, Pig in Hell and Skullduggery in multiplayer. When we take a look at the existing maps within Hogs of War, for example, a solid chunk of them are completely barren of any detail, and the reason for that was solely down to the lack of available memory on the old PS1 system. The good news for us though is that these maps effectively are a blank slate, so creatively we have free reign over the set dressing and where things are placed on the map. Given the setting of Zorstralasia, the landscape is meant to be teeming with resources and the abundance of life, and we intend for our maps to reflect on this idea. Of course, many of you will know that my wanting has always been to expand on the world building within Hogs, and this will be one of the many ways in which we aim to achieve that. So getting down to brass tacks then, our plan for Lardcore is quite simple, to continue working on the game as we have been doing over the past year. As mentioned back in 2023, the results of the previous Kickstarter does not stop this project from continuing onwards. Granted, our intentions still remain the same for releasing Lardcore on PlayStation 4 and 5, however please know that for PC and other platform users among our existing audience, we aren't forgetting you. We understand and hear the outcry for additional releases and will be taking them into consideration in future, but for now we need to finish the existing work that we started before we think about where we then take the game next. As always, we greatly appreciate the community's understanding about the limitations of our team and the courtesy shown to our team in the time it's taken so far to make the game. As many of you will know, game development is a lengthy process, but it's one that we hope will be worth the wait. Now given the quantity of work that's needed across the upcoming year, Hogs of War Lardcore video production will be reduced to once a month, but within those new videos, we intend to showcase only the very best of our development footage. Up until now, we've shown you anything and everything, so our intention going forward will be a little more selective as we build up to release. Speaking of which, it is our sincerest hope that 2024 will be the year that Hogs of War Lardcore is released for PlayStation, however this is something that we will be continuing to review and make the community aware of as the year progresses. For now though, as we push on into February, you can look forward to plenty more updates to our maps and of course those long awaited visual changes to our pig models. Despite the shortening of our video production here on YouTube, you can be sure that there will be more frequent development posts showcased across our other social media pages, the likes of which you can always find in the description below. Once again, I just have to give a massive thank you to each and every single member of the Hogs of War community for their continued support for this project. I hope you can all stick around and enjoy what is to come this year for Hogs of War Lardcore, but it's bye for now. <laughs>